Hello everyone. This is the ninth development entry for Katie and Betty and I'm very happy to say that I have a lot to show. Two weeks ago I decided to join a game jam called Finish Your Game, which is exactly what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> I'm really trying hard to finish this game and so this was the perfect opportunity for me. In the first week I I didn't actually finish that much, but in the second week I really ramped up my productivity and I got a lot done. The first thing that I want to mention is that I added about 85 new sounds. <laughs> I basically just went around in our new apartment and recorded a bunch of new things. I sliced all of the recordings up into separate sounds. So I have this huge sound bank now with about 140 files. And out of these 140 sounds, I created the sounds that are now used in the game. I haven't added all of them just yet. There are still a lot of sounds that I still need to add. But yeah, the basic gameplay is now not as silent anymore as before, which is very good. <laughs> and I always remember the first moment that I add new sounds to a game. It is always a special moment because the game changes quite a bit actually and it gains a sort of new character and it's always interesting to me that I have to sort of learn to like the game in this state because I'm not used to it having sound. <laughs> so usually it takes uh, one day or two to readjust myself to what the game is in a way and yeah that's always a very interesting situation. I also added uh, a lot of new music. I added new music for winning a level and I added music for the regular gameplay. The regular gameplay music is sort of divided into 12 different files and it always plays one version of the Inca music and as soon as you start the level the second version starts. So you always have a different combination of music and I think this is an interesting system and keeps the music fresh even though I haven't recorded that many different tracks yet. I do have plans to add a few more tracks though, especially for the ending and for the level with the star snow. <laughs> so yeah, there's going to be a lot of additional music. I didn't just add sound and music, I also added a handful of new art. For example, I added a new border for the game. Like for the map, there is now an actual border. It always bugged me that there was just nothing there. But now there is something there and I think it looks pretty nice. I also added a let's go animation and it is different based on whoever triggers the start of the spirits. So if you if you are playing as Katty and you press square or whatever the button is <laughs> to start the spirits, then you see Katty pop up or if Betty presses the button then she pops up. Apart from all of that, I fixed a few smaller things and added more minor stuff. And as always, you can read the whole list of changes on the itch.io page. It is available for free right now on itch, so if you want to claim it and check it out or keep it for future updates, now is a good time. I'm also preparing a Steam release, which is very exciting, but I will tell you more about this later. Since Katy and Betty is now a submission for the Pig Squad Game Jam, it is going to be featured in the Twitch livestream on December 3rd. I hope that I'm awake at this time <laughs> because of the time zone, so I'm not entirely sure yet. But maybe someone of you will be there as well to check it out. I'm really excited about this actually. <laughs> Last but not least, I'm going to draw all of the names of my patrons live on Twitch. I'm not exactly sure on which day just yet, but all of the names are going to appear in the, in the credits. So if you also want to see me draw your name live on Twitch, now would be a good time to join the Patreon of mine. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Thank you again for watching and I hope I will see you again next time. Goodbye.